Hey, what's up guys? My name is Alex from Lionspo and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. DaVinci Resolve has just released version 18.1, which is packed with a lot of cool features. In today's video, I would like to describe those which I find intriguing. As the first one, for example, they introduced a new noise reduction. Traction size. And I'm quite curious, how does it work whenever there is something that loud, which is on the background? Can you hear my voice right now or no? So now we are on the construction site and I'm quite curious how does it work whenever there is something that loud which is on the background. Can you hear my voice right now or no? Hey, yeah, so up, now I would like to be speaking hey, and up, now guys? we can test how does it hey, work if, up, for guys? example, someone else is standing right next to you. Hey, what's up, guys? Now I would like to be speaking and now we can test how does it work if, for example, someone else is standing right next to you. Hey guys, I'm just testing those new features right now with you live and wow, do you understand, like, can you imagine how many use cases this voice isolation might have? If it can isolate even that loud noises and leave my voice clear, crystal clear, oh my god, I can wow wow the other feature i would like to test out is like when i speak here and there all around maybe i turn my head and how dialogue leveling works feature i would like to test out is like when i speak here and there all around maybe i turn my head and how dialogue leveling works. Dialogue leveling is a new DaVinci Resolve feature, so you can guys see and tell how does it work when I move my hand, head around and if the noise level is the same. Okay, with this feature I'm not that surprised, but it worked really well because I really went to some extreme examples when I turned my head around and you were still able to hear my voice. And this is just amazing because our levels go up and down, up and down. And there was a lot of manual work with audio. I personally didn't do that, but I know that a lot of people will be actually excited about it. Okay, I would need to interrupt my video from the outside because the next feature which I'm excited about is that they moved Magic Mask from color page into Fusion. And I would like to find out how we can work with it in the Fusion rotoscope and if it has the same box flaws which it has when it comes to color page. Let's go. Okay, let's right click on our clip, create new fusion clip and let's go to our fusion page. From here we need to copy our media one because this is what we'll be using for the background and paste it right here somewhere and then drag this square into the square right here to create a merge node. From here we need to select our media copy and then click shift space on your keyboard and write magic mask. As you can see I already have it right here. Let's insert. And let's select myself to see how it works in here. The next thing we would need to do is to drag and drop our magic mask into our left window to see how our rotoscopion actually worked. Here in the mate we can erode and dilate our footage to, to get rid of those edges as much as possible. Here we can see our threshold, therefore you can see that we actually can work with our edges quite fine. Here we can either invert or not invert the mate and garbage mate, yeah, it's the same. So as far as I can see, there is actually a white triangle. So for example, if your magic mask actually took something which you don't want to be taken, you can simply insert here a polygon mask and click and hold with your right mouse button and drag it into a magic mask. And here you can select garbage mate. And with this, you can isolate whatever you don't need in this footage. This is how garbage mate works with a polygon mask. Okay, let's now try to create something which I'm excited about and I love is putting text in the background of myself. I don't know, I have no idea how it works, let's just try and guess. Let's insert the text and say, hey everyone. And oh my god, we can see that it is already in behind me and we can play with the size and we can change actually the text color and <laughs> oh my god <laughs> wow
I am actually very excited about Magic Mask being added into the Fusion page because I already recorded one commercial here on the YouTube just to showcase how Magic Mask is powerful. You can check the link right here. Don't miss it out because you can create something really crazy with a Magic Mask. And putting text in behind your subject is just one of those cool features. And why I am so excited that it is in the Fusion page it is exactly because here you can track your text to put it, for example, on the background. So uh, whenever you move, your text will not move and it will look so damn professional and wow, really excited. And the last but not least cool feature, which we will be talking about right now, is that they added Sky Replacement Note. And this is, I'm quite curious, let's see how it works, because I have never tried something like this, I have never replaced the sky, but now they promise that it will be very easy, let's see how it works together. First of all, let's go to our color tab, and from here we can, first of all, make some initial color grading with our footage to make some separation between myself and the sky. And as you can see, there is some bug with the DaVinci Resolve 18.1 that whenever I'm making changes in the real time, I don't see anything happening in the node, as you can see, unless I'm creating another node. Now you can see what I've done here. From here, let's create a third node, go to our magic mask, which you can find right here, and let's select our sky like this. Let's see what was selected. Let's make a better selection. And as you can see, whenever I'm making a better selection, it selects myself. But this is where the magic of black magic comes. Because, for example, I can rotoscope myself in Fusion, as you saw in the previous example, and I can put it on top of myself, so it will work with this. So at the moment, I will leave it at better results and I will track it forward and reverse. Okay, now that our tracking is done, we would need to go to our effects library in the top right corner, select sky replacement and drag and drop it into our color gradient tree. And from here, we would need to feed our magic mask properties into our sky replacement node, right here, this blue square into the blue triangle of our sky replacement. And here you can see what alpha channel was actually created. As far as you can see, it actually took me a little bit, but that's why we can combine our magic mask in Fusion, for example, to rotoscope ourselves. Then I would have myself perfectly rotoscoped on top of our sky replacement. Therefore, I will not be actually fixing this right now. And right here, we can go to our external sky replacement and our sky footage and drag this green square into the green triangle right here and we have our sky replaced. And if you click on our sky replacement, there is actually another cool feature, which I'm quite excited about, is that you can automatically adjust foreground right here, just globally applied. And you can change the amount of this application as well. And of course, as you can see, it doesn't work perfectly fine every single time. You would still need to play with color grading of your sky before adding it, or playing with color grading of your footage before you add in the sky. But the next thing we would need to do is actually track our foreground because our foreground moves and we need our sky to move with the foreground as well. And as you can see, now that our tracking is done, we can see some um, black bars right here. Therefore, we can actually auto size for motion. <laughs> and just like this, our sky is replaced. Now, this is not a perfect example. This is actually a very hard case for DaVinci Resolve because there are a lot of trees and the highlights are blown out because we were filming it just on the go, because we were on the shooting that day. And if you find some solution where you can isolate with using the magic mask, for example, and get perfect results, I can see the sky replacement being an amazing tool for a lot of you guys. I'm very excited about those new features because I think that those features are actually something which you're gonna use on your daily basis. 
whenever, for example, you are filming an interview style videos, or for example, when you are filming on a cloudy day and you would like to make a sky replacement, and you get all those updates for free. And this is what I really like about Blackmagic Design, because even in this video introduction, they told us that they actually made those changes according to our personal requests. So it means that they actually follow the community, they listen to what we have to say, and they make this program for us. They do not dictate their own rules like others do. And this is much appreciated. Thank you, Blackmagic Design. If you enjoyed this video, I would kindly ask you to leave me a like, comment down below, and consider subscribing to my channel for more upcoming content. I'm a beginner filmmaker from Czech Republic, and my goal and my dream is to inspire as many people as I can to follow their dreams. And we are just people living in this world, and I would like it to be better.